everyone. So, long time no see. I haven't seen you guys in like a month. Whoa. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen you guys in like a month. And please excuse my hair. I'm sorry. I was like driving on the freeway. I went to up to Hollywood to this one place called Amoeba Music on Sunset Boulevard. If you guys live in the Los Angeles, Orange County area, and you are looking for a place that has cheap CDs, then go there. They have so many cheap CDs and you can sell your own CDs. They only take like really good CDs in good quality um, and they don't take VHS. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for CDs or you know, you want to sell some of your good quality CDs, then definitely go to Amoeba Music in Hollywood. And they also have one in San Francisco. I went there when I was in San Francisco last week for my 20th birthday um, in Haight and Ashbury and also um, in Berkeley. Um, so yeah, the one in Berkeley is on Telegraph Avenue and then the one in San Francisco is in Haight and Ashbury. Um, it's kind of near Golden Gate Park and it's like kind of near McDonald's too. And yeah, anyways, so this video is going to be, oh, and the one in Hollywood, just, just to say, was on Sunset and it's across from a Jack in the Box. So anyways, this video is going to be about um, growing up Hapa. Now, I have said um, before that I never grew up around like many um, white people or Asian people. Um, I lived in a predominantly white community from the time I was two until I was 10, no, until I was um, 12. And then when I was 12, I moved into the house I live in now. Um, I moved with my parents and we moved in with my grandma and my great grandma um, and re remodeled the house and yeah. But um, the area I lived in before while I was growing up, uh, while I was in elementary school, was in a predominantly white area. And um, there weren't many others besides like white people. And I never knew what Hapa was growing up. Like, I would just play with, like, little white kids. And I would, I personally thought that I was, like, white. I, I never knew that I was, like, anything else other than white. I thought I was, like, always, like, oh, white. My last name's, like, a, a white last name. And um, so I just thought, you know, I grew up from the time I was two until I was 12 thinking that I was white. Now the elementary that I went to was not in the city I lived in. The elementary I went to was in the city I live in now, which is predominantly Mexican um, city. And all of my friends growing up uh, were Mexican. And then my friends in the little apartment complex that I lived in were white. So the friends that I went to school with, um, they were Mexican. And they thought that I um, definitely looked white. So I grew up thinking I was white. And, um, I never really asked my parents about, like, ethnicity or anything like that because it really didn't, like, bother me. I didn't really think about it. Um, I don't know. I just never really thought about it. And, um, when I was 12, I moved into the city I live in now, which is a predominantly Mexican city. And, um, uh, in junior high, I was still surrounded by uh, Mexicans and... Um, that was when I kind of learned what Hapa meant. I think one day in seventh grade, I, I don't know, I, I had an Asian friend and, um, she just asked me one day, she's like, are you by any chance, like, part Asian? Like, you kind of look a little bit Asian. I have a cousin who is, um, half Asian, half white. And I was like, I don't know. I think I am, but I, I don't really know. I know my dad's, um, mom was Japanese, but he was adopted. But, um, at that time I did not know. See, my dad's parents, he has two adopted parents. His adopted, adoptive mother was Japanese and his adoptive father was Swedish, which is why I have a Swedish last name and not a German last name. His real biological mother was Japanese and his real biological father was German. So I did not know any of that until high school. In seventh grade, I was like, oh yeah, my dad's um, adoptive mother was Japanese, but that's not his real mom. So I don't, I don't think I'm any Asian. And she's like, really? That's weird. Cause you don't look like full white to me. You look a little bit, um, 
like Asian or Mexican and um, at that time by the time I had gotten to junior high I had heard that I looked more Mexican um, and I also looked white I never had heard that I looked Asian like nobody nobody has in my whole life has really ever thought that I looked um, Asian at all like for me personally I mean a little bit sometimes my eyes um, but when I was like maybe four to about seven I think I looked Asian but I guess not to other people so anyways I was like oh I don't think I have any and then I went home and I asked my dad and he's like yeah you didn't know that I'm Japanese and German and then I was like I didn't know that at all and then I asked my mom and she's like yeah I'm Chinese German and uh Russian and I was like really I didn't even know we had any Chinese or Japanese in us and and then they told me what Hoppa meant and my dad told me about him growing up in Hawaii blah 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 etc and I was like oh my god that's so interesting and so cool so um by the time I got into ninth grade because my high school was ninth grade to twelfth grade um I knew what Hoppa meant and I knew that I was um Hoppa and um I think that's when I started really liking Asian things I had like a huge obsession with Asian things um, and Asian guys um, from the time I was 14 in ninth grade to the time I was um, a 16 year old um, in 11th grade um, and I don't know why I just really I, I only had Asian crushes then um, I really liked watching Japanese dramas I wanted a Japanese a kanji symbol tattoo. I was ent into anything Asian, particularly Japanese. Um, I think the reason was because growing up, I was never really exposed to anything other than white things or like Mexican things that my Mexican friends would show me. I never had any Asian friends growing up because I, like I said, I was never around any um, Asians. I was only around white people in my neighborhood or Mexican people going to school and um, my school friends. So I kind of, kind of latched on to anything that was Asian um, from the time I was a freshman till the, till the time I was a junior. So for a good three years, um, then my senior year. Um, I was still kind of into Asian things, and um, I got um, an Asian boyfriend, and I thought it was funny because he was actually, he had only been in America for like five years. He's from Taiwan. He was not fob, which is fresh off the boat, which means like he's like really Asian. He wasn't like that, um, but I, that was kind of when I started like getting over it getting over my Asian phase because I remember one time he asked me he's like so why do you like Asian so much and I was like I I don't know I guess it's because growing up I was never um the culture the Asian culture was never really brought to my attention and it just interested me and I thought Asian guys were so attractive and so handsome and that's kind of why I I liked the Asian culture and Asian men then um when I graduated in 2010, two years ago, I kind of stopped being so obsessed with the Asian culture. And two years later, 2012 now, I, I'm not really into Asians. What I have now transitioned transition to is Hoppas. Um, that's kind of why I love this channel. Like, I I love, like, Hoppa guys. Um, like, every single guy that I've, like, talked to in the past maybe a year and a half, has, most of them have been Hoppa. I don't know, I just find that really attractive. Now, I went from Asians to Hoppa guys, and um, I think Hoppa girls are so, so, so pretty. Oh my god. I I, I don't know why, but I, I love girls like the white and the Asian. I don't know, it's something about their face. Like, I don't know, I, I just find that so pretty. And um, so... Uh, yeah, I guess that's my whole life growing up, Papa. And um, if you guys have any questions for me, you can leave it down below. I didn't really know what to say. Um, like two days ago on Tumblr, I uh, messaged Raspify, who makes videos on here, and I was like, hey, what should I talk about? And he gave me some good ideas, but um, I was going to talk about one of them, but then I just decided to talk about this. And yeah. So my Tumblr will be listed below if you guys want to follow, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.